Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. This is your reading for September 2nd through September the 8th, 2019. <clears throat> Let me just pull my chair in here. Watch this reading if you are a Taurus sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign, or you are a Taurus on the house cusp, or if you have your sun in the second house. Here are the decks I'm using for your reading today, the Anna K Tarot deck and the Crystals the Stone deck, which I will be using as an Oracle deck today to see what crystal energy will help get you through the week for meditation purposes or if you use crystals for healing, as I do. Um, some of you may use crystals for Reiki. So that will be um, a nice thing to do at the end of your reading. So let's go ahead and see what is going on for you. September 2nd through September the 8th, please, Spirit. Show me six cards for Taurus. Show me how does Taurus see themselves today. What is the theme for them over the next week? What is something that Taurus has already learned that will be useful, useful for them to remember this week? A challenge they may be facing, a lesson they are learning now, and a gift they will receive. For all Taurus sun signs, moon signs, rising signs, horses on the house cusp, and those with their, their sun in the second house. Okay. Three more shovels here. Those wanted to come out fast. Quick on the draw, are we, Taurus? Someone has a fast hand. Yeah, so one of the messages I might be uh, getting right now is just to slow down a little bit with words and speech. Um, there might be sort of an impulse to do something very quickly which could potentially cause errors, or you might actually say or do something that you don't mean to do. At the bottom of the deck, we have the sun. Okay, so clarity, happiness, um, enlightenment. Something become crystal clear. Something is becoming crystal clear to you. I'm also getting that if you were um, dealing with any kind of depression or unhappiness or um, failing to see the light in, in some issue here, I'm getting that. You're going to be receiving clarity and enlightenment this week on whatever that may be. Also, you could be dealing with a Leo or an Aries, I want to say. So let's take a look at your cards, Taurus. How you see yourself today, we have the star. Sign of Aquarius, beautiful. So I definitely feel that I'm speaking to a Taurus right now that is um, entering this period of their life where you may feel very connected to astrology, connected to the stars and this greater purpose. Um, I'm really getting like the light at the end of the tunnel here. So you're definitely being divinely guided. You may have a lot of spiritual guides and, and ancestors around you right now. And I feel like you've just come through something very difficult. And there's a lot of healing energy around you. There's a lot of... Um, revitalizing rejuvenation. You could be going through some sort of rejuvenation right now where you're just healing. Um, being near water or having some sort of water therapy could be very helpful helpful for you at this time. So I'm definitely getting, um, you're being divinely guided. You know where you need to go. You have the North Star ahead of you guiding you. So your path is being illuminated here. Um, and I'm just getting, also this has a lot to do with your life purpose and kind of knowing exactly where you need to be headed and not being thrown off course by anyone else. Um, I'm also just getting that you're very protected at this time spiritually, Taurus. So the theme for you this week is the Emperor. So you could be dealing with a father figure. Um, I'm getting Aries, Leo energy again. So definitely strong masculine energy coming through. Um, if you're dealing with an emperor, this is someone who has rules. They have boundaries. You know, they expect other people to kind of fall in line. Because the emperor is the king of all the kings. 
he rules the kingdom. He rules, he's sort of like the head of the pack here. He rules, you know, if this is a feudal system, he is the Lord, you know, the Lord and the, and the Almighty. So bow down to the emperor, right? The emperor is in charge here. So um, you may be dealing with someone like that this week who's very rigid, who's very controlling. Um, they don't mean to come off as controlling, but um, they like power, they like control, they like to be in control. Um, this can be someone that has their own business, someone that has their own empire, or is you know, in charge of a lot of people. Um, the emperor does command a lot of respect, though. Um, he absolutely is someone who has a 360-degree view of his empire, so nothing really will get get by him. He really doesn't take BS from anyone. Um, so this could be your boss or someone who thinks they're your boss, someone who's very dominant. You know, they might come across as someone that feels like they own you or they um, certainly are very commanding. They have a very commanding presence. You'll know exactly who this is when you run into them. So the theme for you this week could be of like being the emperor, um, having good boundaries, having, you know, certain rules, just avoiding any kind of chaotic situation because you now have limits. You have limits. You're not going to let anyone kind of pierce those boundaries. Something that Taurus has already learned that will be useful for, for them to remember this week. And we have the Nine of Cups. I'm definitely seeing um, a couple here having a great time, letting loose. This is absolute um, freedom and joy and and just enjoying life. Um, there's one might say the Nine of Cups is hedonistic um, because we're you know just having the pleasures of life, enjoying ourselves. Um, so something made you feel really good here in the past, or you were just having a good time. You were just being yourself, you know, really letting your hair down. Um, this is all about what makes you happy, what makes you satisfied, what brings you pleasure. So I feel like you got a little taste of that. You got a little taste of that. Maybe you went to a wedding. Maybe you went to some party. Maybe you were just hanging out with friends. You realize that you have everything you need to make you happy. You've got everything you could possibly want here. And there's also an understanding of what does make you happy, what it is you need in order to be successful and happy and enjoy yourself. So that won't be forgotten, but it is coming up again this week. Um, maybe as just a little nudge of, hey, Taurus, remember that time when you were enjoying yourself? Remember that time when you let your hair down and you were having fun and you could throw your head back and laugh? Remember that time? Well, it's, it's, it's important that you do indulge a little bit. It's important that you let go a little bit. It's important that you enjoy yourself. So if you're in a situation or you're dealing with someone like this or your theme is the emperor, then the thing that you need to remember this week the lesson that you need to remember is just remember not, not to um, cut out everything that includes having fun. Because having fun and enjoying yourself and having pleasure is also an important component of your life. So the challenge you may be facing is the Eight of Swords. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting that this is your energy, Taurus. Because I'm seeing someone who's looking in the mirror and who's seeing... Uh, oh my God, I'm stuck. I'm trapped. Uh, there's no way out of this. Um, things are gonna never going to change. I'm always going to be like this. This could even be someone that has like, um, you know, body dysmorphic dis uh, disorder where they look in the mirror and they, they never like what they see. Or they just see someone that's a victim. They just see someone that's trapped. So your challenge is to really um, see a problem for what it is and decide, decide, to take back your personal power. Decide not to be a victim. Decide not to be trapped by your own thoughts. Decide to set yourself free. Okay? Um, otherwise, you could, be, of course, be dealing with someone who is presenting themselves like this to you, who feels like, oh, no, I can't do anything. Um, I am powerless. There's nothing I can do about this situation. I'm just, um, I'm just a victim here. Well, this victim mentality won't do. It's coming up in your challenge position. So if you're, for example, dealing with a, a very strict disciplinarian or a very strict father figure or a boss or someone in charge who seems to be limiting your power, putting the thumb on you, putting the tax on you, or putting the screws to you, excuse me, 
your job this week, your challenge this week is to say, no, I don't, I don't have to stay here. No, I, I'm not a victim of my circumstances. I'm not a victim at all. I, I absolutely have the power to leave this situation. You know, I've healed completely. I know what my purpose is. I'm allowed to have fun. I'm allowed to go out and celebrate and have a good time. I don't need to stay, you know, stay at home, be your servant. I'm not your, you know, I, you don't have me under your thumb. I have power too. So the uh, lesson that Taurus is learning now is the tower. Yeah, the tower. So there could be something here very shocking, perhaps a separation or um, something that is, Potentially just crumbling here in your life, an important structure in your life. Um, you can't prepare yourself for the tower. It's usually, um, it usually is just that. It's, it's a shock or a surprise. It's a jolt to the ego, right? It's us realizing, um, you know, something isn't as hard as it needs, this isn't as hard as it should be. Or this isn't, this doesn't need to be difficult. You know, we're making something much more difficult than it really is. So it can just be an epiphany, that aha moment. But whatever it is, um, the lesson that you're learning now, uh, I wanted to say Virgo, Taurus, is that um, you can't prepare yourself. You can't uh, be prepared for everything in life. Once in a while, life is going to throw you a curveball just to see if you're awake, just to see if you're paying attention. So... Um, Expect the unexpected. Know that um, life is full of surprises. That's one of the charms of being here, part of this experience. Um, if you are going through something shocking, something drastic, something life-changing, whether it's a partner leaving, a move, a separation, a, a, you know, a fall from grace, or even your own ego being coming into question here, someone's ego, uh, having some sort of ego death. Um, maybe it's even just like seeing, catching a glimpse of yourself in the mirror and really, and being like, I don't even recognize what I'm looking at right now. Who is this person? That can't be me. Maybe it's you realizing and waking up to the fact that something has gone on long enough. And this tower is good. This tower feels great. I welcome change. I like surprises. Let's shake this up. It's you embracing that energy and not having any fear about it because you know your life purpose. You know where you're headed. Never again will you let someone take your power away, even, even yourself. This is you refusing to play victim anymore. You seeing where you're limiting yourself. You seeing where the problem is, even if the problem is within you, right? The gift you will receive, and we have the Two of Swords. Okay, this is an interesting energy, air sign energy. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. But um, I'm seeing someone here who's not making a decision right now. Who's actually choosing to avoid making a decision. They're choosing not to see something. So I'm kind of getting this as like red tape here. You can't go here. No, we can't go there. No, this is, this is, this is a stormy sea. This is too messy for me to deal with. Okay, so it could be that someone here is a little bit um, denying their intuition, who's refusing to see something for what it really is, um, who is uh, in some sort of a stalemate in their life. So I do feel like, I don't know if you can see in this, in this card how the sand is starting to creep in here, the ocean is starting to creep in. Um, there's definitely going to be something here that is, is presenting itself to you this week as like, um, you know, you can't ignore this much longer. This, this is, this is happening. Okay. So, um, you or the other person, it could be, is refusing to see something, is refusing to take action. But I do feel like you are getting a wake up call from the universe. You are getting a shake up this week. And, um, you're, you're absolutely um, aware of what this is. It You may not have to take action right away, but I am getting that. Um, you're starting to really see things, and it's a, it's not a pretty picture. I'm getting it's not a pretty picture, and it's, it's something that definitely needs to be addressed. But I feel like at least now, um, 
you are um, aware that there's something here that absolutely 100% needs to be addressed. Um, it's now about what do I need to, what, what are the next steps that I need to take in order to address this? Because I feel like the blindfold has come and off, has been coming off, or is about to come off here. Um, it's going to be a rude awakening is what I'm getting. So let's see what your crystal is. And this crystal can help guide you forward. You could meditate on its energy. Some of you may live near an alchemy book, an alchemy store or a um, crystal shop, gemstone uh, shop, and may want to pick this up. Pick this crystal. came out fast. I believe this is fire agate. Yeah, so agate crystal, which is pretty common. You can probably find this in um, most gems, gemstone stops and gemstone, gemstone shops and uh, alchemy stores will carry agate. So what it is, agate is a banded, banded chalcedony, comes in many forms. Elegant blue lace agate and iridescent fire agate are two. Each agate has its own unique vibe, but they all promote the energy of wherever you are, be there. Who needs it? Work-life balance strugglers. Where to put it wherever you need more stability in your life and when to use it. When you want to get into your body, try fire agate. When too much screen time has you feeling disconnected from anything the slightest bit eco, try the far from agate, which neither contains moss nor is technically an agate, but can still hold it down. So they want you to help, they want to help you find your solid ground. Okay, so you may be in a situation that it's been very turbulent. You know, there's just no stability here. Um, you, Taurus, love, you love stability. You love things to be the same. You love to have, like, that home, that place you can call home. That You're the rock, right, in the relationships and whatever. You're the rock. But I feel like, um, you know, I'm also getting here on the other side of the spectrum you're perhaps gotten a little bit too comfortable, a little bit too okay with things. Um, so I'm kind of getting that the tower's coming in to sort of shake things up for you um, so that you can find an even better place, um, whether that's a new residence, whether that's a new home, whether that's a new relationship. There's some area of your life that's gotten too stagnant, and I'm getting this fire aggie that's coming in to kind of, um, I'm getting like put a fire under your ass to get you to move to get you to wake up, to get you to see where you've become too stagnant. So you can, um, I'm getting, you need to rebuild some area of your life here. Um, it's, it's not been, it's not been built on, uh, you think your foundation is good, but it's not. So this could absolutely be a wake up call for you to, to move um, someplace more stable or to shift something with regards to a relationship, a workplace situation, how you actually approach your work life balance that is um, creating instability for you so that you can um, reorganize and rebuild is what I'm getting, Taurus. But anyway, you have a lovely reading here and I do wish you all the best. If any of you would like to book a private reading with me, my information is below in the description box below. Have a wonderful week, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.